but first to the future of the auto industry. And if you're sitting there right now saying this doesn't affect you, think again. Right now, there's a serious shortage of auto mechanics, and it's only getting worse. Christina Quinn has the story. Harry Haig has worked at the best Chevrolet dealership in Hingham for close to 20 years. And there's one thing he's noticed over time. It's been difficult for us to find qualified people. And I think it's been a, a little bit of an issue with people wanting to get into the industry. And that's for a number of reasons. Technicians need to buy their own tools, which typically run about $30,000. The technology has also become way more complicated. We essentially drive computers now. And then there's the flat rate pay model. Every car manufacturer decides how long each repair should take. If you take less time than what it pays, you're good. If you take more time than what it pays, you still get paid what the time, flat rate time says. And being a new person coming into the industry, you know, you're not going to beat the time. The starting salary of an auto tech is 35 to 40 grand a year. But if you're not getting paid for those extra hours, you're losing out. Haig says his dealership has created its own supplemental pay plan to make sure their employees get paid for all their work. But most dealerships don't do this. A nationwide survey by Carlisle Research recently found that technicians are miserable. So miserable that almost a quarter of them left their dealerships last year. Feeling undervalued was a major reason. MIT labor economist Tom Cohen says there's one way to change that. If you had much more of a team-oriented approach where the technicians had more control over uh, inspection, quality control, and delivering it to the customer, I think you would have a very different kind of relationship. So a return to the neighborhood garage model could boost morale and trust. But another sticking point is getting young people interested to begin with and convincing parents, says Paul Bresnik, a professor of General Motors' auto service tech program at Mass Bay Community College. It's hard work. Um, you've got to love it. You've got to want it. You've got to love cars. Many people think that their child is too good for that. At Mass Bay, students can major in Toyota, GM, Chrysler, or BMW. Bresnik jokes that it's the state's best-kept secret, which doesn't help the cause, but he has seen a slight uptick in student interest. For freshmen and the lone woman in the program, Amanda Leonardo, Coming here was a natural pick after studying auto bodywork in high school. It's definitely becoming a lot less like grunt work and more like with electrical you have to do a lot of like testing and measuring so it's not as much like heavy lifting mm -hmm. so it makes it a little bit easier for people who don't have as much muscle strength. <laughs> muscle mass jokes aside, one thing's for certain, there's a demand and everyone agrees that changes need to be made in the industry to attract and retain talent. And we need people with, uh, we used to say, gasoline in their veins. Calling all motorheads. Motorheads, Christina, good to see you. Good to see you too. How bad, is, how bad is the shortage? It's pretty dire. I'd say like each, well, so what I was told by uh, the Carlisle Research Group about each brand, each automaker brand um, is in shortage. They need about 10, to, up to like 10 to 30,000 technicians over the next three years. You know, I, I have a solution, even though I know nothing about cars except how to turn them on. Amanda Leonardo and my older daughter have something. My older daughter was the only kid at Cambridge Ringe and Latin, only mm -hmm. girl, yeah. who was in auto. She took the course. Bring women into the profession. Absolutely. Isn't that a huge untapped whatever? Oh, totally, totally untapped. And Do they get this? Schools are, are totally, you know, they're figuring it out and they are, you know, marketing to the female de demographic. I mean, it's half our population. Half our population is going, is completely falling to the wayside in terms of not being marketed to and recruited from and... But there are schools who are trying really hard to do that. Ben Franklin Institute's another one that's, oh, that's been working great. aggressively. Speaking of schools, is there still not... Well, all the politicians talk, as they should, how important vocational education is. Mm -hmm. It's better. Some kids prefer that. Some yes. parents prefer it. Mm -hmm. There's still a stigma. Is yeah. there not? That's, there is. There is. And everyone I spoke to while I was researching for the story and the folks in the story said that they, people still have that grease monkey mechanic... Uh, stigma associated with it, you know, parents don't want their kids to be mechanic, but it's a completely different job. You know, it's a STEM job, you know, you, you have yeah. computer skills. There are 25 to 30 computers in each car. That's, that takes a lot of skill. How much money can you make? So the starting salary is 40 grand, but you can quickly work your way up to making about 80 grand a year, and then the master technicians make about 120,000 wow. a year. So oh not too shabby. Maybe that's the next thing for me. Christina, nice to see you.